All right, I'm going to do a, a LIFO graph 1.21 install. I'm going to do this because the version that's in the application center is 1.2 and it uh, doesn't have basically if you put it on the phone on your mobile phone on your Android it needs 1.2.1 <clears throat> there's no dev file av available yet so um, you have to do it like this I'm afraid but I'll give you a quick run over so we've put in life or graph so it is there this is a clean Ubuntu install by the way um, I just had a look on the site before to see whether it was right um, so if we go to the launch pad page like it says don't do that um, there it is 1.2.1 so tar.gz so I'll open it with archive manager there it is so if we just extract that out just extract it to the home folder it'll be fine yeah, so close that it's not it's not a big thing to do this it's just that it requires some certain libraries um instead of writing them down i thought i might as well just show you type in a term give you a terminal then if you just do cd home well sorry we're already in home so if i do, uh, do an ls cd live press tab gets you full lot there ls and then um, you can do cat, which is like, we'll show you what's inside the document. Pull that up, yeah, get a full screen, put cat read me. Um, <clears throat> so you can see uh, um, that you'll need these. <clears throat> um, so all I do is, I, I'll do cmake, that command there, cmake hyphen i. And you'll see what it fails on any own. Right, so it's telling you basically that you need that. So I'll copy that. Password. So it'll go off and get that for us for a start. <laughs> So I know it's there up there it wanted GTK MM3. So if I just do a search for that. First, we'll do that one first. So if I just do apt cache search for that. We want the <coughs> that dev version there, so we'll do that one first. So sudo apt get install that one. God, there's a rake of stuff there. Then the other packages went off, so I'll just do cut the readme file again. So if I just do um, cut readme, so I'll just do a search for that one. Apt. I'm not noticed that one. Search. And that's enchant. Oh, for help if I spelt it right. There, right, so we've got Python free enchant. Um, there, I've got that one there, that's a lib file. That's a one I want. Hopefully I'll remember my password from before. Yeah, that's that one. And then one more. I know it's done the list, which was 
decrypt. So apps cache search decrypt. And then so I'll go for this that's the latest one to the dev again. So sudo app get install paste that. Yes, please. And then we'll go for a CMake. So I basically give it the dev files that it wants. And then I'm just going to go for CMake dash install. Would you like to see advanced options? No, to say so. I just press enter. Um, key current value. Yeah, it's saying that um, that that that's missing. So copy that. All right, so it's crashed out. So if I do apt cache search, and then I'm putting that that it failed on. Um, so we'll we'll get that. Sudo apt get install. Paste that. Yep. Get another load of stuff again. <laughs> It's just required files that are, are, are really for building it, that's all. I could make a dev file of this, I guess, but I probably might do that on the, on the next video. Once I've, once I've made it, I might make a dev of it. Um, so if we do a CMake install again. No, we don't want it in fact. Uh, yep, keep current values. Yep. Uh, path to library. Yeah, until. There we go, that's made it. So now for cut the readme again. We've got we'll do make, which will make it. Hopefully we'll get through all the way this and um, without it making any errors. Um, and then once it's made, uh, I can do a sudo make install and it'll install it system wide. Then you've got life of graph um, one two dot one, and then basically I, I install it on my Android, um, and then what I do is I use um, I use um, Google to to sync it. I have um, on my Android I use a, a, an app called G Drive Sync, which will which puts a diary file onto Google, and on my um, and on my Ubuntu box, um, I have another bit of software um, that I use, and that's um, it's, uh, in, in sync on my on my Ubuntu box, and that basically just syncs the diary file as well. And I I have that installed G Sync drive uh, installed on my uh, Nexus Seven, so I can basically right to the to the um to the diary from anywhere right so that's 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 done it so if i just do sudo um just let me just read it it's sudo make install sudo make install it's built it so that's it it's done so if i go up here now i should have if it's worked we've got we'll have life graph in the scope there she is. Click on that. And there it is. Create a new diary. Blah blah blah. Put it where you want. And, uh, and that's version 1.2.1. Right, so that's done.